thousands more demonstrators on the streets of Tehran on Tuesday, but this one was state-organized to show support for re-elected President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad. The government has stopped foreign media, including Al Jazeera, from going out to film these events. At the same time, in another part of the capital, there was a smaller protest against the outcome of the election. These people voted for reformist candidate Mir Hossein Mousavi. Mousavi's representatives told a meeting with Iran's Guardian Council that they want a fact-finding committee to investigate allegations of election day irregularities. If everyone becomes aware, avoids violent measures and continues their civil confrontation, they will win. No power can stand up to the people's will. I don't think the Guardian Council will have the courage to stand against people. On Monday, the security forces held back as around a million people poured onto the streets of Tehran to vent their frustration at the outcome of the presidential election. At the centre of a largely peaceful demonstration was defeated candidate Mir Hossein Mousavi. He claims the poll was fixed. By the end of the day, there had been outbreaks of violence. State television reported that seven people had been killed. What the people yesterday wanted, and what I hear all the time in the streets, is they want to get rid of Ahmadinejad because they believe that his majority was a fraud. But they're not against the regime, and people should be very careful, I think, before they start imagining that suddenly the Islamic Republic is now being contested by the people. Uh, the people, I think, are quite happy to have an Islamic Republic. They don't want the Shah back. They don't want to be run by Westerners. They don't want us telling them what to do. Meanwhile, President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad arrived in Russia on Tuesday for a regional summit, the protests back home delaying his arrival by 24 hours. But as Russia's president congratulated Ahmadinejad on his victory, Iran's top legislative body now says it will recount some of the ballot. They'll also allow candidates to witness the process and announce the result within seven to ten days. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera.